The new economics problem has become a very big topic in recent years, precisely because startups are eating the world. And you're seeing all sorts of new startups that are an interesting mix of software and hardware or software plus a service. It could be delivery. Uber is probably the paradigmatic example of this type of new company where you're providing a physical world service, but it's all software enabled. Startups all of a sudden have had to get good at uni economics in a way that they never had to when they were just pure software companies. But if you think about a pure software business, it has perfect gross margins, it has perfect uni economics. All of the cost is in creating the first copy of the software. It was precisely in that realization that he could make cheap mass market software and make it up in volume is what made Bill Gates the richest man in the world. Software is actually quite expensive until that time. He said, let's cut the price and make it up in volume. And it worked perfectly because all the expense is in creating the first copy. The variable cost of producing additional copies is free. If you could actually sell mass market software, it becomes extremely profitable. The reality is startups never had to be good at accounting. They never had to be particularly good at being cost conscious. Look at the Google campus. Look at the Facebook campus. These Disneyland style campuses, the benefits. These are extraordinarily profitable businesses because the gross margins are so fantastic. There are no cost of goods sold. It wasn't until software started eating the world that you had these hybrid software, physical world businesses, and economics even became a factor. But the problem is that this took the startup ecosystem by surprise because we were also trained to think that gross margins didn't matter, that economics didn't matter because all the successful companies never paid any attention to these things. And all you have to do is look at the Google campus. 